not really crazy about the hero, to yeah. be honest. He's super ulti reliant, and it's very hard to execute the ult in like proper manner. So I'm not like really the biggest fan of it. I think it can bully a bit in the laning phase. It's got like obviously good damage output, but it is very like kind of single target for that aspect. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really the biggest fan of a silencer. Uh, just especially versus what Secret has. Like usually when you're playing silencer, it's like you want to stop some type of big ultimate, like a black hole, something mm. along those lines. But if you look at Secret's draft, they actually have pretty much zero heavy cooldown ultimates. Which is something they've been doing a lot lately. It's like either they choose Kezu on a big team fight ultimate, like uh, Guardian Angel or Omni Knight, something like that with Enigma, or they go for these like heavy aggression, just super tempo kind of lineups. So I like Secret Draft a lot in this one, and yeah, I think that the Silencer with the Mag and everything and Spirit Breaker, it's a lot harder to execute. So Silencer, okay, not really sold on the hero. Yeah, we'll see. Um, in in terms of lanes uh, at the moment, they're heading out to. I see if there's going to be any sort of aggressive lanes coming out, but it doesn't look to be the case. MP up on the top lane in the safe lane with Puppy. Uh, but uh, as you said, overall, so more of a worry for Empire. Would you say what, at a certain point of the game, is this going to be tricky for them in the lanes? Especially, what, what what's the bit that you expect to see Empire struggle the most with their draft? I think probably mid-game. Mid I think that they the they start. really need, like, I mean, Blink Dagger Mag. They have a Spirit Breaker Initiator. They need, they need Blink Mag and they need Blink Axe in order to really create fights and create chaos. While Secret just can kind of group up with their Abaddon and just go for buildings and just pressure and go for fights constantly. I think that Empire really needs to come out of the lanes, just like Jack was mentioning, ahead. Because if they come out behind, they're going to have to just go on full recovery mode and be like, okay, we need our Blink Daggers to really cause any havoc while Secret can, yeah, just Tusk roll in or Ember just runs in with his remnants and Weaver can just like run through with his Kuchi. But we do see that adjustment happening right away. It looks like okay. Yapsor and MP going to be going toward it, that off lane. But they're kind of just still, they're still kind of like adapting depending on what they yeah. see. But, but yeah, Kezu safe lane. Yeah, and this is, as you say, this is what Secret wants in terms of lane matches ups. This is, this is the... They want Kezu in that 1v1. Yeah, they want yeah. Kezu in the 1v1, and having Weaver versus Lifesteal is always great. There's no sustainable lockdown in the tri lane, or in the duo lane or tri lane that Empire's gonna have. It's just a Spirit Breaker charge. So I think they should be able to pressure the Lifestealer a good amount, but lane ma lane changeup should happen at one point because if they just keep it down there, you know, Empire should be able to come out ahead and experience it because they have their pull. Oh, this mid lane matchup, uh, as you mentioned on the board, you know, if it would have been a silencer, mid one could have had a bit of an issue, but uh, up against the Magnus, do you expect this to be a pretty easy time for the Ember Spirit? Yeah, it should be. I mean, he, can, he can't really burn the Flame Guard later on, because you, you just can't yep. as Mag. So he should be just fine. I think the thing is that with uh, Empower, it does make it a lot easier for Mag to just last hit and harass with the natural damage from the Cleave. So I think it's going to be pretty evenly matched, but the first level, yeah, you see FN just oh, non-stop clicking mid one. Ah, it's certainly working out for this first wave, that's for sure. Mag is one of those heroes that always can do well in his lane, just because you have Shockwave, you have a low cost and power, which just makes you have the highest base damage compared to like any hero. And you have high armor, so you can really bully an Ember early on especially. At the moment, down bottom, yeah, so. Trying to kind of keep his eyes on Maposhka and Maposhka likewise. Chappie, man and up. Getting a fair bit of a damage in onto MP here. She's not going to get the kill, but certainly forcing him back. As uh, is prepared for that sort of harassment though with Tango's out in the south. Puppy sitting down here as well. So all three of Secret keeping themselves down to this bottom lane. Mid lane matchup looks to continue pretty evenly. We're going to see Secret make a move towards Maposhka. Uh, but no way of really trapping them. And with the curse down onto the two of them, you just have to be a little careful. Oh, he actually uses the Shikuchi as well. So the Arcane Curse is going to hurt him quite yeah, a bit. it's going to keep going. Yep. For a shards off the mark. And I like how Empire right away, they're just making sure to maximize on their levels and just keep pulling right away. Mid one with a haste rune mid. Got it. Well, at the moment, though, pretty... Just kind of static lanes here. As uh, neither side looking to make any sort of movements with their support, do you think we can expect that to change, or, or do both teams need both the supports down here on this bottom lane? I think both teams, yeah. I think yeah. we're going to see this just sticking for a while until maybe some kills go down. But Empire is looking very good in the laning phase. I think they have a little bit stronger lanes. It's just about what they can come out of it. Yeah, they, I mean, they, get the mid yeah, lane. this bottom lane, MP just ain't hitting the creeps. Yeah, that is yeah quite. Uh, I mean, I know it's early days, but three minutes in. Weaver not finding much at all. Maybe we'll find himself the kill. Then Maposhka falling very low. Chappie looks to block him off, and MP can't actually find the kill. Doesn't chase down the breaker. 
Uh, but yeah, this is certainly going to hurt them. With the uh, life stealer about to quadruple the CS of the Weaver. We have seen Secret have a, a little bit of struggle on their first games of the day. We have. And we've so. also seen them have struggles in the laning stage and then come back to win the game. Yeah. But, yeah, certainly worth noting that safe lane's looking a lot hotter for Empire. The mid lane matchup, uh, slight lead still for FN, keeping himself ahead of, of mid one. To be a bit expected. The bottom lane, I just I didn't expect Chappie to have such so much higher CS than MP. He's just really struggling. I guess that's a, leaving the pulls open. King yeah. R is just as a silencer, he is just chain pulling. So he denies like one or two wave, one or two creeps from the wave each time. They're getting they're maximizing much better in this safe lane for Empire than Secret is in their aggressive tri lane. Miposhka gonna get some pressure onto him. They know he still only has bash level one, and this time he should be brought down. Yeah, there's no way he gets out of here with the frostbite. And the snowball to follow through as well. Maposhka will be taken down. Chappie and King are heading across. See if they can get a lock on to anyone. But MP the only one near enough to go for, and they don't want to waste their spells on that. No way to trap him through the Shikuchi. So first blood for Secret. And uh, uh, they certainly needed to get that, because if they have a tri lane down here and it's not hindering the farm of the carry, they need to at least be finding the kills on the supports. Yeah, MP's, MPCS is just extremely concerning, though. He's only level 2. While the silencer is almost level, he's like level three and some and change. The life series is like level four already. So this non-stop pulling coming out of King R is actually really hurting Secret in this aggro tri lane still. And Puppy's recognizing that he gonna go to the jungle as the Crystal Maiden just try to maximize. They don't want to be splitting experience three ways when they don't need to. Because he's getting pinged up. We've got the first charge coming out toward him. Yeah, has to be careful. Not level six yet, of course. As a mango, we'll have another shield. Let's see if that's going to be enough. Here comes the lead in. Battle hunger, so they can close the gap. There's the first connection. They'll get it into the call. Kezu being bashed up as well. This should be a guaranteed one, or maybe not. Pops the mango in the shield, trying to get himself back to the tower. Bash would suffice. Won't funny initially, but they will continue to dive through. There's the next charge, and Kezu will pop. They get away with the kill. Same time, though, down on the bottom lane. Yap saw able to close the gap onto the silencer, and Secret will find a kill in return. Yeah, every time that the Spirit Breaker is going to charge out, they're going to look to get aggressive. And Silencer getting caught on the sides is, I mean, it's really hard for him to really play in that lane because he can just get dove super hard by, hard by the bugs and the ice shards. It's pretty much just Chappie going to be this big sustainer in the lane. Oh, King R actually gets that. I guess creep. the pig one. <laughs> the one glaive. Oh, MP starting to catch back up, but still the lead is there for Chappie. Mid lane as well, mid bond still. Slightly behind the farm here of FN. FN getting some pretty ridiculous good CS. I imagine he has been what, cleaning out some of the camps as well. He got mud golems, CS. so his oh, is a little perfect. bit. It's a little oh, bit inflated. Yeah, 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 just yeah. a tiny bit. And he cleared actually. The, I didn't see what the hard camp was, but he cleared that too. So yeah. he has a couple extra CS, and they're about even on net worth though. Top lane, charge away from the spirit breaker. Oh, mid one's hunting. Mid one's in position right now. Has an arcane rune. Triple remnants of the ready. A lot of play potential. See if he uh, catches anyone else coming back up to that area, but doesn't look like he will. Down bottom, Chappy, making a go onto Yapsaw. Immediately looking to snowball over to the creeps. We'll see if Empire can continue to cut him off. Uh, looks like they won't. They'll hold back. Now MP, from mid one. ready to go in with it. He's got the raise, so Chappy goes for the raise TP. It's a smart move and it's a safe move. He's out of there, but King R isn't. We'll be punished with the wrap round from Puppy. So again, look at the silence set. So still managing to slowly break apart this, this safe lane of Empire. I like this decision making from mid one though. Like he recognizes FN's just gonna be jungling for now, so I can get aggressive on the other lanes and he can't really respond to help them. Got Ghostic getting aggressive on Kesu. Kesu actually gets forced to use borrowed time. Yeah, very hard for Ghost to make a play that holds up. Maybe once it's it's down, if they get a charge, they could certainly look for it. King R's already heading up there with the silencer. So maybe seeing if they can catch Kesu out whilst the ult's down and yeah, the charge is from Miposhka as well. So they want to go for it, but Kezu, of course, realizing that he is at his weakness at the moment, is keeping himself away from the lane. Charge actually will be cancelled. Empire don't feel confident fighting around this deep as of yet until they can bring in Ghostic and King R a little bit closer. Now they'll look to go. Ghostic doesn't get the battle hunger off. Kezu managing to, to fog him. Actually playing around very much on the edge of this. Empire, do they want to go? Now they will. 
charge forward, but TP reaction will come through from Secret. Ghost Stick getting the spins off, bringing Kezu down low, and in fact those couple of springs bringing him down very low. They will get the kill, but Mid one's in with a rotation, punishes the axe, and now Yapsaw quickly snowballs onto Miboshka, makes sure that the TP's not successful, and Secret will happily take that trade. They lose Kezu, but Mid one comes in and picks up a double kill. That was a big beep coming out from Kezu. That was good rotations again from Mid one, just trying to get as aggressive as possible in the laning phase every yeah, time he sees. Active. Anytime he sees anyone, yeah. Yeah. Just any information on the map, he's able to go. And yeah, they, that's okay with them, like with being able to move their support set, because they have a Weaver in the offlane, so MP's gonna be okay. Like his his last hits are still a little bit lackluster, but you know he's a hero that shouldn't really be brought down by a life stealer, silencer, spirit breaker, tri lane. Yeah, we'll see. See what Chappie goes for this game. Is he? Has he got the Midas on the Courier? No, not just no, no, that. He I just has that, yeah. So I guess Facebook, do you think he will go Midas this game? With the gloves? Um, Since he's like a single core lifestealer, I think it's possible. Yeah. I think either decision's fine though. Maybe because they ran like an aggro lane, he maybe feels like he needs to get online a little earlier. So maybe getting the armlet yep. is probably just better. And it benefits a lot with Empower. Probably still just getting a feel for how the game is going. FN, though, is doing incredibly good. So look at his net worth, 4,200. He's 800 away from that blink dagger. He's just free farming the jungle over and over again. Going for the treads pick up as well. Yeah, and we'll, we'll see if he does get those RP advantages. I mean, you talked about in the draft out. There could be potential with the way that the Secret lineup wants to kind of group up on a target. You got a uh, it's tough snowballing in and Abaddon on the front line trying to apply the curse. Okay, yeah, Ember he's remnanting forward. He's going for the armlet on life the first. I like okay. this. Just want to keep that yeah. tempo up. Like they already are. They probably feel that they're a little bit ahead in the laning phase, even though the kill score doesn't show that. They probably just you know feel that way just based off their levels and the way that the safe lane was going. So I liked his decision to go for that. This will come in handy. He's the rock, you know. He's the rock on this team. While mm -hmm. the axe and the mag need to get their blink daggers to really do anything. The rock might be about to be smashed as secret are eyeing him up. Got rage TP though. Uh, he's, he's just gonna, gonna go get straight out. out. Didn't rage first though. Oof. Little risky there. If that jump came in a second earlier, the the chains would have been there to stop it. I really thought he would just rage TP. Yeah, to be safe, he just honestly. he was wow. like, I don't need to rage. The man mode TP out there. Now Secret's gonna be able to grab this tower, get a little bit of map control. Mid one's almost got his boots of travel finished up to keep that aggressive go aggression going. FN though, gonna have blink dagger at the same time as those boots of travel coming yeah, out. It's gonna be a good time. See Kezu pushing in on the mid. King R trying to hold them back with the curse. And there's your blink. So FM will be ready to make the plays. Top lane. Mid one is hunting. And uh, he has he got the burst to bring down Maposhka? I mean, especially with a plus one. If Yapsil can get in, Maposhka keeping his distance. Mid one. We'll move back in to see if we can find him. I mean, Maposhka's already out of there. Looking to charge in on the mid lane. It has side set for Kezu, but does cancel. Looks like he was just using it to get out of that position on the top lane. I like how Empire's maximizing right now, though. Yep. Um, they empowered the Lifestealer. They had even an Ancient stack for him, so he's actually able to clear an Ancient stack with just Empower and a Phase Gloves of Haste. It's pretty impressive because it's like maxed out Empower already. And they give M uh, King R a nice lane. Poppy now, holding some neutrals. Full in on the farming. I mean, he gets himself the 11-minute Midas, so obviously uh, a very good time for, for your position 5 to pick up a Midas. If you're cool with your position 5 rushing Midas, which is the plan here for Secret. And it could certainly pay off as the games go on. I mean, we've seen in the other games uh, that Secret have played, you know, where they, they're happy to sometimes sacrifice uh, dominating the laning stage for favor of going late game against some of these teams. And against a team like Empire, Secret may have the late game prior us. Yeah, they, they probably just feel like they also don't have anything to like really force objectives. Yeah. It's like, all right, we can't really force a tower. We have like a Weaver and a, and an Abaddon. Like, we're just going to keep a little bit idle and just farm up. And that's fine. I think it's okay to just go for that at this point. Ulting, the, ulting those creeps does maybe a little bit. <laughs> Bold, I know. That's like a pub specialty. I like doing that. Ulting neutrals and ulting ancients to CM. I mean, it makes, I mean, if you look at Empire's lineup, it's like, is this CM with Brown Boots Mar just really going to get the chance to use his own yeah, team fight? Exactly. A global's going to come in. Someone's going to two-shot you. That axe or a spirit breaker straight on your backside. So, yeah. It's, it's, it's just efficiency. Yeah. Everyone just this is this game is just pure efficiency. Honestly, it's everyone's just farming. 
Yeah. MP's in the jungle farming the enemy jungle. I like that he's doing that at least, trying to like take some farm away from them. Mid one's finishing up his bots. Yapsaur's running around farming. Spirit Breaker's like, I just need levels. Let me get some levels. And yeah, they're just waiting for their next couple things. They have the blink on the mag. Axe is about to have his blink oh, yeah, and 100 gold. Blink. So it's going to be Empire on the aggressive here, yeah. though, in the next like two or three minutes, because they've got to have Armlet finished up on Life Stealer, double blink. So that's going to be their go time to actually try to make some plays, try to get themselves another objective. Maybe go for mid. Just force uh, an engagement. Uh, MP is starting to catch back up. Yeah. Uh, still not quite there on par with the Life Stealer. About 1,000 net worth between them. CS, of course, still. Had a bit of a drop down. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's. I mean, I guess the, the good thing for Empire, really, about this draft, because they have a Magnus, it's, it, it, if this kind of mid game doesn't go too great, they're, they're going to scale well. Yeah. I mean, so secret, but Empire are also going to scale as well, because they, they have the Empower. But it's just a, it's only a single, it's only the lifestyle that benefits. True. That, that's true, yeah. So for, it's like, for the rest, it's not great. I'm wondering what, what item build we're going to actually see coming yeah. out from FN. I think maybe we'll see him go for, like, we used, I used to see some, like, Orchid, Echo Saber, Bloodthorn builds on the Magnus quite a while. Yeah, the Echo Saber is right? quite popular. Isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, because he's a core, you think he won't go for the the blink, then back into the Midas, or is that still a possibility? Or I think just it's still possible. Still a possibility. Yeah. Okay. I really like the blink Midas builds. It's usually yeah. like an off lane kind of thing, though. But I like the concept of it a lot. And here we go. Yeah, they they got the double blinks off. They've got the armlet. They go for the smoke. They're gonna try to get aggressive with this first ulti usage. Yeah, they, this could be big. If they can get that lead in. Puppy and Yapzor. Good position on the high ground to dispel any sort of smoke. In fact, well, they smoke themselves and see Empire immediately. So, well, Secret are not really wasting the smoke because they do stop Empire from getting the jump that Empire were relying on with these new newfound items. I mean, for now, FM. Okay! That's a lot of hate for a Midas CM. And uh, Puppy's down. FN, not a fan. As uh, instant RP usage. Gets the kill. We'll free up the space for the mid lane tier one to go down. Uh, but maybe not quite as big of an impact as they would have hoped for with the blink reveals. Yeah, definitely not. But, you know, they get the objective. So yes. Yeah. That's like the big, that's the one big gain. I mean, I, yeah, yeah, I guess you got to kind of ask yourself, could you, could that play have been achieved with just a blink skewer? I guess he doesn't have that many points in the skewer. I don't know. I get RP's the safe play. It's the safe play. Yeah, it's a, they, they probably look like Secret's lineup isn't going to want a team fight, so they're probably just like, okay, let's just take what we can get. Yeah. You okay. know, and just press your towers off of that one. Because, yeah, I mean, Secret, there's no way they're going to fight. The only way they fight is if they're, like, around the Abaddon. And Kezu was showing top lane. So as soon as they see Kezu top lane, they know it's like, okay, Secret's not taking this team fight. It's just going to be, like, one or two heroes kind of running around scrapping. Puppy trying to get some deep wards in. They do spot that, though. They do know he put a ward down, I believe. It looked like they had an idea, King R, with sentries. Yeah, he's going to be able to get the D ward. MP, though, getting aggressive onto him. They do have Ghostic with the uh, Chappie Lifestealer in behind them, the Taunt. Onto Weaver, it's going to be long enough for them to get the kill. They've got the control, they'll bring down MP. Mid one, coming across, will be charged up. There'll be the TP attempt straight out from Ghostic, but Puppy comes in with a freezing field. Takes down the Axe, Chappie to fall as well as Mid one picks up the double kill. <laughs> so coming up in full force, and, and it really seemed there, Secret. They did not give a damn about that global silence. They just fought through it. And at the end of the day, Empire... Not getting the impact with either of those blink daggers, I feel that they would have liked to. I mean, yeah, they got a CM kill. Yeah, they did kill MP, but they ended up losing two cores themselves for it. I like how quick they were to collapse on the while Puppy's warding. Like, Puppy's probably, like, telling them, Hey, guys, I'm going to ward here. Yep. Let's try to m make a play around the ward. Because when you ward, you don't want just vision. You want to be able to make plays around those wards as fast as possible. So they were all kind of ready. Yapsu was already on his way down. Kezu TP'd instantly from the top lane. And then mid one, of course, was Boots of Travel able to come in. And yeah, it does look like FN's going to be going for that Echo Saber. I was kind of expecting something like this because, like we've been saying, you know, it's a single core life so you want to have some extra kind of scaling potential from your mid laner. Mid laner. Yeah, I'm saying yeah, Echo Saber goes without saying, just everything benefits the Mac. MP top lane, they've got eyes on him. They've got double blinks prepared for him. Ghostick going to lead the charge. And again. Not messing around with these RPs. I mean, I like it. It's uh, it's certainly better than seeing a game where Magnus is, you know, waiting for that big wombo combo. If you see an opportunity to kill, take it. I well, think they certainly do. Yeah, they, they definitely needed it there to be able to clean it up. So it's perfectly fine to use it in, those fa in that fashion. Oh, interesting set there as well from FM. Eighth game, uh, eighth pro game on Magnus. Uh, he's seven and one at the moment on it. So very impressive. 
And win, right? He definitely knows how to maximize on that hero. Yeah. Like his laning phase he was pretty much perfect. He went to the jungle. He even skips the ulti at six, gets a couple extra points in the empower, and just is very good about finding his farm on the hero. Interesting that so he's going for the Echo Saber into the BKB. I mean, what, what does he feel is such a... I mean, uh, they've got a lot of magic damage here, but they're... It doesn't feel like there's going to be any sort of silence or hold back to stop him from initiating, but I guess you just want the BKB so you can just literally man up after the yeah. RP and continue to just punch people. Yeah, I yeah. think he wants to just be a reliable damage source okay. in the fights after RP. Top lane, mid one, gets the slide off yeah, during nice the jump. And it's always hard to tell with that situation. You know, was he was he just slight of fisting or was he dodging it, you know what I mean? Is it a coincidence or is it is it pure skill? Give him the benefit we'll of the doubt. We'll give him the benefit. We'll, we'll say it was reactions. Yeah. So he's going to be building toward the Yule Scepter, yeah. obviously, versus the Global. Yeah. Very good. Also, Yule Scepter versus Axe is probably one of the best items in general. The Axe blinks and calls. You can just completely good against the Breaker the as well. If you catch him and charging. Breaker. Yeah. yeah. Very good against these, these initiators. There we and go. E even good, I guess, as well uh, against the Magnus. Yeah. Well, if you've got vision, if you cast it pre-blink, he gets insta, insta yours before he can RP. Yep. Yeah. Definitely is a good item choice this game. Mm. Yapsor is going to be rushing for that Lotus Orb. So they will be getting their adjustments to kind of deal with that global silence. But Kezu doesn't care. Kezu's just going for the Vlad's AC. He's just going for full aura build. Not going to really care if he's going to get globaled at all. So far. Top. Mid one. Finds a grab onto Ghost Stick here. We've got rotations coming in. The Yules for the catch. Yep, just to buy the time for Puppy to close the gap. And very unlikely the Ghost to get out of it. Again, Puppy throwing down the ult. He says if FM wants to throw it down at any opportunity, so will he. Secures the kill. Eight for five still. Network pretty much neck and neck. You've got the two cores on the side of Empire at the top of the moment. Now Lifesteal and Magnus just farming a little bit faster. Certainly expected with the Empower. Uh, and the speed that the Lifesteal can chomp through those creeps. But overall, just the, the network spread a little bit more even on Secret's lineup. Yeah, having that Midas CM being yeah. picked up nice and early. Tusk as well. Everyone's just playing very in a very greedy style. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised how, how farmed uh, Meposhka is on the Spirit Breaker. He's only found a couple opportunities with his charge, and he's got his earned medallion already online. Very good for him. FN, smoke breaks. Mid one on the high ground. He's invis, though. Yeah, this invis rune. Oh, they got eyes on the silencer, too. Gonna cause issues here for Empire. As Secret... Could try and find into this one. It is at a shrine, though. Yeah, it's a little bit too deep. Uh, Yaps are not in the area either. TP was still on cooldown. Mid one's still lining up, though. S keeping tabs on King Up. We'll sweep back, see if he finds any other stragglers. Chappy with that Deso finished up. Gonna be hitting pretty hard with the Empower. Miposhka tries to get the charge oh. up, but yep, sort of gets the snowball on him. Oh, we'll get the bash, though. Yeah, we'll still take this Nether Strike to the face, which may buy enough time for Chap to close the gap, and indeed it does. But the extra bash there, yep, sort of will be taken out, despite his best efforts with the snowball dodge. Not enough to save him against three angry, hungry heroes. Those kind of pickoffs will happen when you're playing versus Spirit Breaker. If you're playing alone. They do get some nice tower damage bottom though. They're actually probably going to claim this tier 2 with Kezu. He's just really forcing with his Hyperstone Vlad's build. He even took the damage this game rather than the experience. So Kezu's trying to actually be a scaling scaling core as we kind of expected. You know, they have this tri-core lineup versus a Lifestealer single core. So definitely trying to be as scaling as possible on the side of Secret. On top lane Empire, we'll find the tier 2 trade. Won't be contested on this one. Take the tower. FN on his way out. Chappy no, isn't going to jump in for the ride. We'll stay up there for the time being. And uh, get himself inside Maposhka. Kind of cool. FN went for the attack speed instead of the uh, spell amp. I mean, it's kind of expected because the build like, that he's like going that for this time. Yeah, yeah if, if you're so. a cool, Magnus, I like that. I mean, because well, the spell amp, it's not massive, but not, the, normally the difference is just so what you can shock wave a, a, a range creep yeah. in one shot in, in a creep wave. So it's a little quicker farming if you don't have the right click build. Yeah. But, but if you do, yeah, that, that attack speed just going to amplify what he's able to do. King on bottom, getting yep. dove hard, and Straight he just up. gets brought down instantly. Can they punish this, though? They've got to charge onto Puppy. Ghost Stick is going to see if he can find a jump, but again, the Yules from Mib1. Just turns back, holds him out of there. Puppy has the time to TP out, and Mib1 continuing to walk himself away from that with no punishment whatsoever. 
And Yapsor just goes straight back to the top lane. They are just... Keep on farming? Yeah, they're just trying to get, like, little pickoffs and don't let Empire use their big ultimates. Just yes. every single time, just be scrappy, take little type, little team fights or little pickoff engagements all over the place, be efficient with your farm. Yeah, just don't let Empire use global, don't let them use RP on more than one hero. Sounds like a good game plan to me. Empire, still though, with the farm that they're getting, they're keeping up, oh yeah, Yapsor yeah, with the Lotus is, is gonna cause issues in these fights. Uh, so as long as he doesn't get caught in the initial jump from the RPs of the cause, he's gonna be able to save himself or the others from the global silence. It'll be really big once he's got his blink tagger. He's gonna be able to just Lotus over the silence, blink in if the RP does happen on a couple heroes and he can completely counter initiate with that. I do like this That's though, smoke cool. interest. I think, I think this may catch secret off guard. Will, will they expect this? They're still split up across the map. They're not seeing anyone. Yep. They oh, don't really have a crazy amount of vision, but... MP's gonna check it out. Nice. It's down to half health. Look on the sidelines though. FN is in position for any sort of attempt on Secret. And I think Secret really, they, they, you know, Empire have such a strong team fight. They've been avoiding it so far. They aren't gonna change that, even with the Roshan on the line. They, they're just gonna have to let it go and Empire. Will take themselves the H, straight into the hands of Chappie. Free Roshan for them, Secret not wanting to contest at all. And now the fight, looking to ensue. As a charge forward from Miposhka makes a beeline straight for Puppy. Mid one has got a double damage. Watch out for that in this fight. Ghost Stick gets the call onto Puppy. Secret with a full fight man there. Out comes the Global Silence. Going forward, looking for the RPFM. Will hold off for it for the time being. Kezu has the borrowed time. Walks it off. They're trying to go for the old Puppy, but the Nether Strike flies through from Miposhka. They'll dunk down the CM. And then comes the punch from Yapsor. He tries to get the RP out of FM, but FN's already down and gone. They've lost to an Empire. Chappy falling low as well. The Aegis will be popped. Mid one getting a lot done this fight with that double damage rune. And now, can they kill him again? Chappy makes a beeline for the high ground. Secret are looking to chase. They get the chains out, but the rage is popped. Turns towards Kezu, but a little too speedy here on their baton. We'll get out. So Empire do keep Chappy alive, but they lose the Aegis on him. And again, losing Ghostic and FN for very minimal gains for, the, for themselves in that fight against Secret. I really like the way Secret took that fight. Puppy just kind of accepted the fact he's like, all right, well, I'm getting very focused by the Spirit Breaker, by yeah. the Axe and everything. I'm just going to kind of accept my fate and run into the middle of them, force them to kind of jump on top of me, and then that's where they get the opportunity. Yapsor rolls in, gets a nice ice shard, snowball combo onto the mag, and then, yeah, uh, mid one's just able to just throw like a double remnant or triple remnant on top and clean up. Definitely good at positioning, and the way that they took that engagement was definitely very smart. Uh, look at it, this is what, I mean, 23 minutes in, Kezu having a, uh, the completed assault grass is going to be pretty scary. They will get a freebie here, Empire, catching Yapsor out in the jungle. Ghost to Chappie, make a quick one-two play. Yeah, they know there's vision now there. Yapsor spam pinged it right afterwards, so he's like, yeah, they've got, they've got something up here. But yeah, Kezu, very farm. Yep. And I like this build too, you know, they are versus a mag in power. Or a mag who's going to empowering the life sphere, so he's just building for this armor aura type strategy to just make them be able to fight versus it a bit better. Nice. Smart optimization, and we can see on the Magnus going for exactly the build you mentioned earlier, looking for Bloodthorn next. Yeah, I was kind of I was kind of expecting this, especially yeah. versus an Ember Spirit and versus like Weaver, something to kind of be able to just like catch them a little bit off guard with that silence coming out. I haven't seen it in the build in a long time, though. And Midwin now picks up a Shiva's Guard, too, so very resilient to magic or physical. Fan tries to waltz up, pops the BKB, had an Invis room, was hoping for some sort of play, but there was a sentry down. Instantly aware of the situation, Secret now themselves can look to take the favorable position. Midwin jumps forward. Straight away with the chains, they'll get the sharp block off as well. Maposhka will charge away. The rest of Empire on the tree, but no, Yapsa chased down the charge with the snowball. Maposhka tries for the TP out, but the chains are there, and they'll finally take down the space cap. Secret, getting themselves to the kill once again. And that was global. That was actually, yeah. They, they do still have RP, but hey, all right, without the global silence, it's going to be very hard to stop Secret from jumping back in on them as they have been doing in pretty much every mid-game fight so far. Yes, uh, Secret's doing a very good job of just playing around the ultimates. Yeah. Like, they just are never giving them the opportunity to use them. Really liking the way that they're itemizing and taking the game, too. As I mentioned, the uh, mid one with the Shiva's guard. So, yeah, they're just building for heavy... Heavy physical reduction versus this heavy physical single target damage lineup coming out from Empire. Puppy's almost got the Solar Crest. He's got Ghost Scepter. Like, they're they're feeling good about this game slowing down and just letting them be able to farm up. Because they know Silencer and Spirit Breaker, these two heroes, 
They don't farm. Silencer does not farm well at all unless he goes for like the Midas build, which he definitely could not this game. Spirit Breaker is not a hero who farms. He the only way he that hero farms is through kills, and they just don't they're not really giving them the opportunities for that. That is certainly scary for Empire. As they have really struggled to, to be able to achieve what they want to do with their lineup at this stage. Got an AC complete on Chappie into Ghostic, but again, look, Secret is there and ready. Ghostic is just going to get ripped apart immediately. Will get no, the TP's out. Okay, okay. One of the weaknesses there from those three heroes. No cancel other than the Frostbite, but they'll get King Ha. So a nice clean escape there from Empire with the two cores. But again, it's them getting ready to hunt and, and look for a kill and having to tuck their tails and run uh, as soon as the first sight of Secret appears. Yeah, Secret with the way that they, you know, the, their draft is all about this, these scrappy fights and just constantly causing this aggression. Uh, aggression. Just never let them get time to use their ultimates. Just always run at them, keep the tempo too fast for this mag silencer. Mid one after the Shivas. Very close to having a completed Maelstrom. So starting to, to build up on damage himself after opening with a defensive. Link Dagger now for Yapso, as you mentioned. There's the, the combination of items he needs to, to be able to be that savior in these team fights. And he's going for Ags next on oh, top is he? too. Is he? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but he did this yesterday. He Th queued this up one Ags I think he will. You think this one, this he actually one he will, will. He will follow for it's one. It's super okay. legit versus Lifesteal. You just boot them out of the yep. fight, and they, it takes forever to come back because it applies that. It's, it's very good. I actually really like the Tusk Ags now. It's been changed a couple times. It's, it's still very luxury. You obviously want to get your, like, Blink Lotus Orb or your Guardian Greaves plus one item beforehand, but it, it can be very legit in these type of fights. Again, Empire really wanting to look for that fight. We've seen so many smokes from them as they have been time and time again trying to find some sort of a jump with Ghostic and Chappie. But uh, Secret have been pretty well prepared each and every time. And Mid one. I, then this is going to be an exception unless they can catch the Ember, but no, quickly out with the Remnant. Was being eyed up there, but Mid one's already out of the lane before the jump can be made. These heavy mobile cores from Secret just way just too difficult for Empire to really go for those catches. They're trying though, but Secret just seems to be one step ahead of them on majority of these plays. Even their positioning there, Secret was all like four of them together on the high ground. They're like, okay, there's definitely a play happening, and Mid One was kind of baiting it. Oh, FN. Well. Secret's got the high ground. FN does have the Shadow Blade. Chappy. Trying to make a bit of a go here onto Kezu. The sentry dropped down immediately by Secret. Just in case FN tries to come with the Shadow Blade. TP is across the shrine, will be there, Maposhka. Who's he going to look for? On the sidelines, Global Silence comes out, but mid one. Can he actually finish off King R? The Glimmer Cape will save King R for the time being. Chappy, focused by Kezu and MP. Mid one jumps forward, finds the Silencer in the tree line. That's going to be one done. Has the chains onto Ghostic. They've already found themselves three Secret. And they get themselves anything more of this FN with the Shadow Blade. Back he goes. Maposhka gets chased down on the side by Puppy, who finishes him off with a freezing field. And again, Empire just cannot find these fights. They're, they're, they're smoking up there, leading him with the Shadow Blade on the Magnus. And Secret are just being so careful uh, at being jumped on. And every time, Secret just turn around and shove the fight back in Empire's face. They're really. Like, they're being super, at least Secret's being super critical of the way they're positioning in these fights. Like, yeah. mid one is just running at the silencer and the mag. He's like, I'm not going to let these guys get any RPs off. I'll throw my Shiva's guard out, keep canceling the blink daggers. Puppy and Yapso are causing havoc on the other side. Kezu is just man fighting versus the life stealer. They're just doing a very good job of taking the fight and splitting it up in their in their favor heavily. Wow. And just in this game one so far, it really just feels, yeah, overall play uh, is a, a lot cleaner from Secret. A little... I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say sl sloppy for Empire. I think it is just the Secret are just playing that little bit better. They, they are having the better reads of the map. So yep. you know, Empire, they're, they're making the good calls. They know what they have to do. They, they have to find these ganks. Uh, but, but Secret are, are very well aware of that. And they're, they're playing the exact way that they need to to deal with that sort of play style that Empire are trying to bring in. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're just reading the movements yeah. super well. It's very good to see this. And... I like the way that they approached it. They took like a super greedy-esque approach. They're like, ah, oh, you know what? 
it doesn't matter if he's getting these like solo RPs and whatnot in, the, in like the mid game mm. because they're not really able to claim anything off of it if we have everybody else split pushing and just farming on their own. Like Yapsor was perched up in that top lane for I want to say like eight minutes almost, just kind of farming. Well, they have got their strength here, Empire. Roshan back up, and they can take it down very quickly. And of course, there is still that one, but if they do find the Global Silence into RP, Secret can melt. Yeah. They have a lot of physical damage, Empire, and, and you know, Chappie with Empower will rip them to pieces. They just need to find an opportunity. Now, get the Aegis onto Chappie. Secret, again, not choosing to fight around these confined positions, because they know that's where Empires have the chance to succeed. But still, overall, as we can see, the net worth really tailing off. They, well, they're leading to a 20k netly. Well, we're at 16,500 at the moment for Secret. That's quite a sizable lead. And uh, it really is, you know, again, you look at the individual net worth, the, the two cores of, of Empire, Chappie and FN, it, it looks fine. But it's just the fact that M mid one is, what, nearly 4k ahead, uh, and the rest of the team just is leveling out a lot better for Secret in comparison uh, to the three members of, of Empire that are sitting at the bottom at the moment. Ghost Stick has, has really struggled, kind of that initial phase after where he got a good timing on the blink to actually get anything done. It's, it's just been very hard for the Axe to keep up in a game like this. Yeah, he... Like, like we've been saying, like you know, the axe, yeah. these axe spirit breaker, these heroes need to get kills. They don't yeah. farm just. They don't want to be sitting in lanes because if axe is showing in lane, if spirit breaker is showing in lane, that means they're not ganking. So secret's just like, okay, we're gonna be able to just farm. That hasn't happened so much though. They've been really off of the map, but they're not able to find these pickups, so they're falling very far behind. You know, Poppy's crystal maiden, fifteen hundred gold above the axe. Yeah. So we do see FN actually, he finishes up the Silver Edge, so he went Shadow okay. into full Silver Edge to kind of kind of try to deal with that Abaddon ultimate. Maybe they can may, like try to get the pick off on him quickly with that, with the Global Silence following, because you Silver Edge him and then For Global, sure. and he can't yeah. use the Bar of Time. But they do have a Lotus Orb on Yapsor, and he also has Snowball, <laughs> so there are a lot of different ways for them to kind of counter that mid one. And getting aggressive onto Miposhka. Miposhka. Getting his way out of this one, the Yules from mid one, buying space for Secret. To come in, and that's going to be Maposhka around down. FN jumps forward, just get the two man skewer, gets the bring back as well. Has managed to dunk down two there with a the backup of Ghost Stick. This is what they were looking for, Empire. They're trying to get Kezu, but he does get the borrowed time off. Mid one, manning up, comes back in with the remnants, takes down, goes to be a buyback from Maposhka. FN leading forward with the BKB, trying to man up with the right clicks. Mid one, falling down low, but the slight fist comes out. Now they've got a spread, Empire. They've lost Maposhka, that's a dieback on the Spirit Breaker. Chappy will be back for round two. Secret focusing the weaklings, goes straight for King R on the silencer. On the back lines, Chappy. Goes for the Ray CP and will make his way out of there. And again, Empire, even though they get an RP of sorts, they, they do manage to take down two of uh, Secret Heroes, but it's the, you're killing the two supports. And it's costing you a lot of fatalities on your own side. Die back from the Spirit Breaker, losing the, the Aegis, losing Axe, losing Silencer. It's, again, it's not the story that Empire want to be writing. Yeah, I mean, there's... it's. RP and the X call pretty much for their disable because yep. the charge just gets cancelled every single time. is having a very hard game for himself. And these super mobile cores on Secret just are able to weave in and out of the fights constantly and not really be worried because there's no other big sustainable stuns or lockdown. Well, Ghostic does get the call onto MP. Kezu immediately with the Axe borrowed time, making sure that minimal damage can be done to MP. Break, flies the Ember, so might have a lot of damage. To, to bring down Ghost Stick, Ghost Stick will be able to walk this off. Charge from Imposhka is not going to go for it. Oh, in fact, well, okay, the Axe does. They'll cancel the charge, but Ghost Stick still goes in, Chappie, looking for MP. But MP's going to be fine. He just turns around, punches back into the Life Stealer. Now looks towards the silence of Frostbin up by Puppy. And they're not done yet again. Secret jumping up into the base. Maposhka will get the charge away, but the Chains combo from mid one holds back the big old cow. And Secret again getting the kills. Moving on to the racks, fortification will come out. And mid one already just moving closer to the fountain, spamming out the chains to hold back Empire. FN does have RP. He needs an absolutely brilliant one. He needs something amazing here. We'll see if Secret give it to him if they do hold hands too much. FN looking for the RP. Silver Edge is now one off. And again, mid one just spamming the sleight of fist, making sure that the, any blink potential is minimalized. Mid one, guys, he jumps straight into them. Triple random forward, he's ready to go and play. Oh, uh, we'll get the Stuart back, FN. RP, but it only catches one. They'll pop the global silence, but the Lotus Orb already laid down onto mid one, so he can jump back out. They've lost the axe, and GG well played is called. It's all too much here for Empire. Secret will take game one, and Empire 
you really felt the struggle there in that game. They, they could just never hit it off. They never got that fight that they've been hunting for, even with the great start. The great landing stage, brilliant blink dagger timings. Secret were prepared. They got two 13-minute 13, 13 blink daggers, yeah. I think it was, on the Axe and the Mag, so they were farming incredibly well, but I, I think Secret just played really well the way that they played around it. Their maneuverability on the map, they made it so it's like, oh, you have to only, you can only get like one hero opportunities because yeah. now we're just going to have Yapspor pushing the top lane, mid one pushing the mid lane. Uh, MP pushing out the bottom lane, so they were just completely split up, not giving Empire the opportunities. It was actually pretty delightful to watch. Yeah, yeah very crisp. Clean stuff from Secret. Well, uh, see if Empire can step it up, of course, in game two, give us something a, a little different. Maybe catch Secret off guard with a different strat. The Magnus certainly not working out in, in terms of this lineup, where you're looking to, to make those fights happen, needing to get the lifesteal emo.